first thing we're going to do this morning is to pick the brain of one of the world's leading business entrepreneur mentors, also a well-known philanthropist and also a Star Wars fan, so I immediately click with him and he's going to click with you all, I promise you that. So please give a nice and warm welcome to Eric Midmees. Wake up, folks! A nice welcome! Thanks! Good morning. Good morning. I am so glad they didn't do the introduction in Danish. It happens to I was in Poland last night and the whole introduction's in Polish. I have no idea what they're saying. I, the, are you all familiar with Tony Robbins? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was invited to speak at one of his, uh, one of his conferences and it was going to be entirely translated for Chinese people. About 150 Chinese people, and, and I, I was very excited to be going. I'd never spoken at one of Tony's events before, and they explained to me, Tony's a very busy man. He won't be staying here to introduce you, or he won't be staying to watch your talk. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> I don't want him to watch. So it's all good. The translator's going to come up and introduce me, and they take my introduction and translate it into Chinese for the translator. All good. And then Tony and I met in the hallway for about five minutes and he changed his mind. He decided now he's met me, he wants to introduce me. The problem is they can't find the original English introduction. So they go back to the Chinese translator and say, Tra give us an English version. So now my introduction has been taken from English and it's been put into Chinese and now it's been put in back into English. Now here's the problem. In translation, as I'm sure you know, sometimes numbers and things get lost, yes? So my, my, my introduction at that event said that I started my first business and I sold it nine years later. Tony got up on stage and he said, I'm so excited to introduce the next speaker. He started his first business when he was nine years old. <laughs> so that's what I had to start with. So I'm glad we're going to stick with English. I'll try and keep the, the pace reasonable. Um, so language, I, I want to start a little bit with language. I don't know if you know this, but Americans, I'm not American, I'm Canadian, but Americans quite often use the word irony badly. Like Alanis Morissette, do you guys know the song, Isn't It Ironic? The whole song is wrong. It, it, I, irony is a very, I want to explain it. This is the best way to explain the word irony. You guys remember that Ronald Reagan, the president, was shot? Do you know what I mean? He, was, he wasn't shot, he was hit by the bullet that bounced off his bulletproof limousine. That's irony. And that's, that's proper irony. And so I was thinking today, here I am talking about, you know, born global, stay balanced. I think it's ironic because I had to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to catch the car at four, to catch the flight from, Krakow to, from Warsaw to Krakow and then Krakow to here or vice versa. I'm not feeling balanced this morning. <laughs> then the audience, asked why she was laughing. Somebody said, why is she laughing? And I said, I'll tell you, because the entire list I just gave you was selling me and you didn't even notice it. And I'm not kidding you, this is Germany, mind you, they all laughed. <laughs> That's funny by itself, I guess. But, but the fact is, is that it is, not, it, it is not obvious. It's subtle and it's super powerful. And if you've built the credibility and you've built the authority, people will listen to you and they will stop buying from your competitors and you will not have to discount your prices all the time to win business. Does that sound good? You have two very powerful mechanisms here. One is to learn how to engage people properly. Do not push them away with your marketing, attract them with your marketing. You do that by knowing who you want to talk to, by finding out what's important to them, by engaging them based on their values, what's interesting to them, not what's interesting about you. Then delivering upon that promise, building a, a huge amount of credibility and authority. And if you do really well, your marketing will even build virality. It, it, people will, will copy your marketing. They'll, they'll, they'll tell people about it. One bride will tell the other bride about your marketing. Thanks very much.